Uh, we start this hour with some breaking news around the future of Britain's biggest steel plant. Our city editor, Mark Kleinman, joins me now on the phone. Um, morning, Mark. What's the latest? Well, what I can reveal today, Sam, is that the government is in advanced talks with Tata Steel, the Indian-owned company, about a commitment of around £500 million of public money to secure the future of steelmaking at the Port Talbot plant in South Wales. Now, as I understand it, this taxpayer aid package would be combined with around £700 million from the company itself, amounting to a roughly £1.2 billion investment in Britain's biggest steelworks. The precise details of this plan have yet to be finalised and they do remain subject to change, but there's hope on both sides that a formal agreement could be reached as soon as this month and certainly before the end of the year. Now, this would be seen, Sam, as uh, significant for a number of reasons not least because it would commit Tata Steel to replacing the blast furnaces at Port Talbot with lower emission electric arc furnaces, a transition which is seen as vital if Britain is to begin producing substantial volumes of green steel as well as retaining sovereignty over its steel production. However, there is a sting in the tail here, which is that as part of the negotiations, I understand that the government has accepted that some redundancies are going to be inevitable largely because electric arc furnaces require a smaller workforce to operate. So as part of these talks between Tata Steel and Whitehall, the company has indicated that over time, as many as 3,000 of its current 8,000-strong workforce could leave the business. Now, to be clear, there's no immediate plan for redundancies, and any of those plans would be the subject of extensive consultations between the company and trade unions. Nevertheless, it's clear that any deal to safeguard the future of Port Talbot won't be without some cost either to British taxpayers or its owner's workforce. Now, when I contacted the company this morning about these talks with the government, a Tata Steel spokesman said the company is continuing to discuss with the UK government a framework for continuity and decarbonisation of steel making in the UK amidst very challenging underlying business conditions. Given the financially constrained position of our UK business, such significant change is only possible with government investment and support, as also seen in other steelmaking countries in Europe, where governments are actively supporting companies in decarbonisation initiatives. Now, as I say, Sam, uh, to wrap up, uh, these talks are ongoing. Uh, they are still subject to change, but there is some hope that in the coming weeks we may get some long-term certainty about the future of one of Britain's most important manufacturing sites.